This week on DevKit Weekly, we're going to be reviewing the Max Ref Des 178 Cube Camera Reference Design from Maxim Integrated. Generally, face identification isn't something we pay attention to, or at least I don't. It was super cool when iPhones started using it instead of the fingerprint scan in lieu of a password, but that was a couple years ago. It's old news, especially in the world of technology, right? At least for today, that is simply untrue, because this week's device is capable of not only face identification, but also face classification and keyword spotting. And it's just an added bonus that it's the cutest little cube you ever did see. This tiny little AI machine is Maxim Integrated's Max Ref Des 178 cube camera reference design. The Max Ref Des 178 may look unassuming, but it packs quite a punch, starting with the dual Max 78,000 integrated circuit microcontroller boards nestled inside. These boards are designed specifically for AI-powered image and audio applications hence the double usage. To allow the Max Ref Desk 178 to run both image and audio-based AI models at the same time, the microcontrollers include ARM Cortex M4 processors with a floating point unit as well as CNN acceleration hardware that concentrates on image and video data from an onboard image sensor, plus voice and audio from the connected digital microphone via a low-power audio codec but more on the CNN accelerator later. There's also a 32-bit RISC-V coprocessor that can run at up to 60 megahertz. Each board also includes 512 kilobytes of internal QSPY flash memory, as well as an additional 128 kilobytes of internal QSPY SRAM. The MCUs are optimized for running deep, convolutional neural networks with a hardware-based accelerator designed for battery-powered devices like the Max Ref Des 178. To ensure that power consumption remains minimal, we're talking microjoule level, executing inferences. While all the features and functionality on the Max 78,000 MCUs are great, we haven't even gotten to the connectivity yet. No, we have an entire third board dedicated to that. The connectivity board is based on the dual core Max 32666, which also leverages the 32-bit ARM Cortex M4F, but that makes up both processing cores in this MCU. One of these cores, Core 0, is responsible for handling the Max Rev Des 178's USB and Bluetooth low energy software stacks. The other, Core 1, controls the device's main application logic and the transferring of audio, image, and control data between other components like the audio codec, memory, on-chip BLE radio, and so on. The MaxRef Des 178's connectivity board provides both wired and wireless communication between device and user through the littlest capacitive LCD touchscreen you ever did see, right here, and a ceramic antenna connected to the connectivity board's Max32666, which enables communication to external devices like tablets, phones, or computers. The connectivity board also houses a Max20203 power management IC connected via I2C bus that charges the camera and battery when connected via USB, or uses buck and boost converters to generate the required voltage. Not sold yet? The Max Ref Des 178 also comes with its very own MaxDAP Type-C debug adapter, which includes multiple USB ports to connect to the device itself, enable debugging and programming, and assist in data transfer. All that hardware is awesome, obviously, but what does it look like in action? I spoke about the face identification at the beginning of this video, and it just so happens that the Max Ref Des 178 ships preloaded with a low-power convolutional neural network inference engine that can run AI computations on the IoT edge. And to turn this thing into more than just a little paperweight, the kit comes packed with a face identification demo from Maxim. The demo is based on the FaceNet multitask cascaded convolutional neural network model that can be optimized and trained in either PyTorch or TensorFlow Keras environments using datasets like the VGGG Face2 and YouTube Faces. The CNN performs a series of actions on subject images, including facial extraction, alignment, and of course, identification. The FaceNet model is extremely popular in facial identification applications, and the demo tests the accuracy and performance of the model against the Maxim Celeb dataset, a group of 15 male and 15 female celebrities. Hi, Brad! However, the model contains 7.5 million parameters 
and requires 1.6 G floating point operations, which as you may have guessed by the limited amount of memory on chip and on board, isn't really optimized for IoT devices like this one. Fortunately, the model in the demo is just based on FaceNet, but it isn't FaceNet. It leverages a process called knowledge distillation that helps transferring large models to smaller models and is tuned for the Mac 78000 microcontroller, resulting in the AI85 Face ID Net model. A synthesizer on the Mac 78000 automatically generates C code and an API that allows for easy integration of inference outputs into your applications. More can be found in an application note from Maxim Integrated, but we'll link that in the description below if you'd like to go look at it. The Max Ref Desk 178 kit can be yours for just $169 from the Maxim online store. This includes the cube with the LCD, enclosure, and battery, the debug adapter, and of course, access to the aforementioned demo. But there is another way. You can enter the raffle linked on the screen now and in the description below for a chance to win this kit in my hand for free. We'll even pay the shipping. Anyway, that's it for this Dev Kit Weekly, and we're looking forward to seeing your faces on the next episode. Remember, we've got this Max Ref S 178, so something might be watching. We'll see you next week. For more content from Embedded Computing Design, including behind the scenes footage, raffles, giveaways, and just cool stuff that we're doing in general, visit us on social at the links provided in the bio below.